Bud, it's your turn this time. All right, I've already seen this movie anyway. Oh, by the way, the guy with the wooden leg and the red dress, yeah, he's the one who did it. Don't bother coming back. Hey! I'm Gerard, your new neighbor. How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. You seem like a really nice guy. He was a new neighbor. You could at least change back. I would, but I broke the SMTV. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. You should, because if Bud doesn't transform back in 24 hours, he'll become 100% human. But that's horrible! Oh, relax. It's no big deal. Really? Yeah. All we have to do is kick him out. Enough joking around. Come on, this is serious. We have to act now and act fast. That, my friends, is how it's done. Ah! Do you want to keep it down in there? I am trying to watch TV. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, I know. I was going to take the dog out for a walk. Rex! Here, boy. Rex! Rex! Where did that dog go? Oh well. Oh no, he's losing his mind! Hmm, fascinating development. Yeah, what's better than Bud? Bud is a human. <laughs> Opening the fridge for no reason. He's really becoming human now. Unexplainable strange behavior. He lets the water run while he brushes his teeth. Oh no, a big set. What is he doing now? It's a form of human self mutilation. According to my records, a human male, on average, spends 15 minutes 37 seconds in the bathroom. Fifteen minutes 37 seconds exactly. Oh, this isn't good. He was used the last of the toilet paper without changing the roll. Only a human would do that. My friends, we must face the obvious truth. Bud definitely has shown signs that the worst has happened. He has become one of them. He has become a human. Okay, well that leaves one thing left to do. No, don't do it, it's Bud, he's one of us. Not anymore, he's one of them now. Oh, all right, I'll go, I'll tell him. Bud, would you like a lemonade, honey? Sure, darling. 
There you go, Bud Bud. <coughs> it has seeds, and it's not very fresh. Oh, just the way you like it. That's why I still love you, even after 15 years of marriage, little Boo Boo. Nope. Ah! But I... Ah! Hold on! Ah! You said... Ah! All right, I give up! Ah! 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 Yeah. My house has been invaded by aliens! Ugly, hideous monsters with big heads! Scary, beady little eyes and slimy little noses! Aliens? <laughs> oh, you're quite the joker, ain't you? All right, I'll play the game. Let's go have a look at these aliens. I don't get it. The place was crawling with them. Come on out, scary aliens, wherever you are. Let's check in here. No aliens in here. There, wait, wait, there. What do you see? Uh, empty toilets? Exactly. But it looks like the facilities aren't too sanitary. Nothing a little cleanser won't take care of. <sighs> They'll take care of those alien germs. No, but I'm telling you, there were aliens here. Of course there were. Well, looky there, nice. Uh, well, actually, it was. Let's see. What's this button? You know what doesn't look like there are any aliens here. What? I said, doesn't look like there are any aliens here. Nice model spaceship, though. Ow. Phew, that was a close one. He almost found us. Well, buddy, I think you're good here. Don't worry, you probably just saw some shadows or something. They were here. Well, let me know if you have any more alien sightings. <laughs> <laughs> Just joshing you. <laughs> uh, you're kidding, right? No, I'm not. You actually fixed the spaceship. Yes, uh, as it turns out, it just needed a little adjustment. <laughs> oh, yay! We're going home! Oh, I love you, you homely little genius! <laughs> Wait, what about Bud? We can't leave without him! I have a plan. A plan? Great! I hate this part of the show. <laughs> How you feeling there, buddy, huh? Well, you get some rest, kid. You'll need your wits just in case of an alien invasion. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. I'll see you later. Good night. Oh, you shouldn't have. Wow, a model for me to build? Thanks, kid. I know what I'll be doing all night. So the plan is to trick the human into fixing the SMTV? You're a genius. Okay, let's do this. That is the best-looking hairdryer. Ha! I guess I'll have to try it out. I could use a new hairstyle. Flip the switch! I guess it don't work. Bud! Bud, you're back! Aliens! I think he may have lost it for real this time. 
Doug, open the door. Come on, we're your friends. Out of the way! I'm coming through! So tell me how that plan goes again. Hey, what did I miss? Not much. I meant on TV. Well, it looks like the real butt is back. You know something? I still don't get the plan. Guys? Guys! What happened? Tell me! Jennifer on Bongo Beach Babes got married, didn't she? Oh no! It's worse than that? Oh, don't tell me! And here we are broadcasting live from a remote launch pad in Siberia. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen, and fasten your seatbelts. Because today we are bringing to you the launch of the first commercial intergalactic space flight. Brought to you by Stay Bubbly Beverages. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The human private sector doesn't know the first thing about space science and space travel. Former bus driver Vader Salapsky is the pilot for this maiden flight. And his mission, find extraterrestrial life forms. Good luck to you, Fedor. The world is counting on you. No problem. Fedor, find little green man. Trust me. And we have a successful liftoff. Hey, not a bad start for the private sector. Oh no, it seems we've lost contact with the Stay Bubbly spacecraft. Oh, this could spell disaster for the private sector space mission. And remember, Stay Bubbly tickles when it goes down. Yeah, see, I told you these people are amateurs. Well, it takes one to know one. Karashov! That was fast! We're already here? Well, well, well. This is very interesting. Barren, unhospitable landscape, no sign of intelligent life. Let's go exploring! Gravity! That's a good sign! Oh my, it's that bus driver from space! Maybe we should make friends with him? Well, why don't you invite the alien hunter over for tea and cookies? Hmm. Let's not be hasty. I think we should observe him closely. One not-so-big step for humanity, and one stumble for Fedor. My beautiful chenille chair! Major discovery! Alien flora! <laughs> Test for radiation. Hmm. Hmm. No radiation detected. It's perfect! Do you see that? He killed Esmeralda! Amazing geological diversity! Proceed with mission sampling quota. Extraction! Sample extracted. Oh, my beautiful living room. I'm feeling weak. I think I'm dying. Would you calm down? It was just a bunch of garage sale crap anyway. Whoopsie. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. My lunch. Hello. I come in peace. Me, inhabitant of planet Earth. Take me to your leader. Let me go! I will kill him if he ate my sandwich! Hold on, hold on, I have a plan. All right, is everyone calm now? Okay, I'm calm now. Okay, good. 
Here's the situation. A. The bus driver thinks he's on an alien planet. B. His ship is wrecked. And C. We beat him up and kick him out. <clears throat> C. We make a diversion while I fix the spaceship. While you try, try to, fix to fix the spaceship. spaceship. Anyway, after I've fixed this rudimentary human spacecraft, we lift off and head back to our home planet. Well, it sounds like it might work, but how are we supposed to make a diversion? Natural charm, my friend. Natural charm. I am Fedor. Welcome to planet uh, Etnerth, space traveler. Ah, uh, the real name of the planet is Etnerth Gorgia. The alien speaks English. Actually, we're over here, Mr. Space Traveler. <laughs> Welcome to planet Etnerth Gorgia, the planet that has an ever-expanding name. <laughs> da, da, da. Pleased to meet you, Lord Alien Life Forms. We come in peace. Speak for yourself. We the Lufas are the only inhabitants on this planet. We're at your service, oh great godlike master. Yeah, whatever. I am Fedor Zalepsky from planet Earth. I came in my spaceship. Looks more like a space wreck. But I can fix it for you, oh great one. <laughs> no offense, but your primitive mind could not possibly comprehend the inner workings of such a sophisticated craft. Well, you're right about that one. <laughs> uh, just a little loofah tradition. But now it's time for a big traditional loofah folk show. <laughs> da, da, da. Fedor like folk dancing. All right then. Now, let's fix this thing. Okay, first things first. Okay, time for the loofahs to get down. Da, da, very original. Fedor wants more. Fedor wants you to worship Fedor. Me no understandy. Primitive beings, you must obey the great Fedor. I want to crush the great Fedor. Calm down. Think about the spaceship. We're going home. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can kick his butt just before we leave. Hmm, it doesn't seem quite right. I must have inverted some wires. Oh, magnificent being! I live to serve you! Uh, sir, Mr. Fedor, you, you are... Really, really just the best. <sighs> not bad, not bad. But Fedor wants more. Fedor wants pomp and circumstance. Fedor wants sacrifice and pain. Oh, great, great Fedor. Fedor. If I have to take any more of your joy, I might have to inflict a little more pleasure on you. Well, that's getting a little closer. Now, we will see the amazing alien yogurt jump. <laughs> this dive for you, oh great master. And because we're tired of staying on this planet. <laughs> Bravo, comrades! The Lufa people thank you, oh great compassionate master. Hmm, you know, this is trickier than I thought. I have no custom for the Lufas, the walking on hot coals tradition. <laughs> ah, I think I figured it out. Now all I have to do is build a bigger one. 
And now it is time for your great king to choose a wife. Well, th 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 there's no one here that... Uh... Hey, let us know how the honeymoon turns out. There, I've finished. Sorry, oh great king potentate, but the loofers must indulge in their nap ritual. Can't fight tradition, you know. <laughs> Whew. Borscht. It's getting hot in here. Ah, this is the good air. You know, you could have taken a little longer. Well, there was some fine tuning involved. But the good news is the ship is ready for immediate takeoff. <laughs> Fedor, break stuff! Real good! Fedor, king of the loofers! Fedor, stay here on Etna Gorgina forever! Message to all units! Message to all units! We've located the spaceship in a house to rent! Immediate intervention. So what's the plan now, genius? Okay, that's what I thought. Time to do this my way. Hey, Fedor, want to see a new loofah custom? <laughs> Duh. Oh. So, what do you think? <laughs> I made it up myself. To the SMTV. <laughs> Hello there. You sure took your time. Okay, here you go. Oh, excuse me. I'll take that. Here, you might want this. Phew. I miss the TV. Yes, I'm feeling kind of sad, too. So... Any more great plans there, Retno? What the heck? Hmm. Well, it's a washing machine with program function. Look at that action. Well, it's different. Well, not that different. Well, it kind of makes me feel relaxed. Little fly fly, you're gonna miss Miss Bongo Beach Bay Bonanza in HD. Don't go. I'll let you watch National Geographic. <laughs> uh, occupied. <laughs> Right, the bathroom's all yours. Big cry, baby. <laughs> what is that? Where's your mummy? And your daddy? And why are you drawn so badly? Gorgeous. What's your name, little boy? Well, this should be interesting. How are we supposed to get rid of the kid if we don't know how he got here? Problem solved. No way. You'll have to race me first. Okay. Hey, are you nuts? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. Stop. Gorgeous, look at him. He's just a poor, misbegotten little lost drawing. It's our duty to take care of him. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Come on, little buddy. I'll take you under my wing. First, and most importantly... You're going to learn all about TV. I hate kids. Ah! Ah! Gabba da! 
I had the best night's sleep. <clears throat> what about you? You already up? Are you okay? What are you drawing? Come on, we're buddies. You can tell me. Puppets are lame. Oh, is that right? Well, why don't you show me what you have, smart guy? Hello! Hi, meet Mr. Cole. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> Pipe down. Do you know what Mr. Cole's first name is? It's Tick. See, Mr. Tickle. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! Oh, you, you, stop, stop, stop! Nice one, gorgeous. May I? Look, he drew a little girl. And she's holding a picture of the little badly drawn boy. That's it. His creator, the little girl, must have lived in this house at one time. We have to find her and reunite them. No! He can't leave! We're best friends! Why don't you wait in here? Don't worry, I'll handle this. There must have been dozens of tenants before us. This should take a while. Hello, miss. I live right next to the house on the hill, and I just caught an extremely rare and contagious disease. Etna is sick. You should have told me. And I need to contact all the former tenants of this house. It's really urgent. Yes. Uh, no. Uh, bones turning into powder and liver fossilizing. But, but, it's horrible! Uh, thank you, thank you, bye-bye. Uh, ow, Ooh, gorgeous. I, I, don't, I don't feel so good. I'm, uh, I'm feeling kind of sick. Easy as cake. There were three former tenants. Ah? Uh, oh, a joke. Oh, I, I, I knew it. I was, oh, I was just staying along. Hey, what's that weird spot you have there? What? Where? A spot? There's no spot! La, 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 la. Well, according to the address, this is the Ruxulski family residence. Candy, we will monitor with the headphones. Go. What? I can't jump over the fence. I might rip my skirt. Let me give you a hand. <laughs> Bravo, Charlie, to Flying Violet. What are your coordinates, Bravo, Charlie? I think I broke them. Candy, you have to find drawings that look like our badly drawn boy. Here. <laughs> These drawings look real mean. This is not the right kid. Francois, give it back. It's my turn. Hey, look, a dolly. Who put this here? Oh, I don't know, but I know what to do with it. Blast off! What is all that interference? <laughs> so? So? wasn't the right house. Okay, this is house number two on the list. Let's see them make a dolly out of me. Shh. 
You should have seen it. I made short work of that situation. <laughs> hmm. Not even close to our drawing. No style, no talent. This is not the girl we're looking for. Actually, it was some little fat boy. Gorgeous, this is no time to play with the dog. We have work to do. Nice doggy, doggy! <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the last one. Guitard. Guitard? Guitar? Ah, oh, right, whatever. Who's going in? All right, let's see a show of hands. I hate this part. Why an eggplant? Because he will go unnoticed in the garden. Genius. Bingo! This is our girl. I just need to talk to her. <laughs> is everything okay, honey? Uh, you've been in your room all day. I think I left my favorite drawing in our old house. Come on, honey. It's no big deal. It's just a... Eggplant? Where did this come from? Hey, why don't we have some eggplant quiche? Okay, now to let it cool off. Don't mind if I do. Are you crazy? This is it! No! So is this the right place? Yes, the girl is in there. Now all we have to do is tell Bud. No, no, no! He's my friend! But Bud, the badly drawn boy will be happier with his real family. No! I'm not taking no for an answer. Uh, he's a little emotional right now. We are moving out! We don't need those guys anyway. Look, I brought sandwiches and comic books. All right, gorgeous. Watch out. He's booby-trapped the perimeter. Slick Rick! <laughs> Mouse traps. Way too easy. Hip, uh, hip. <laughs> oh, aged garlic sausage. It's up to you, Candy. Candy! Watch out for the mouse traps. I think we need a new plan. Yes, Miss Gideon? Where are you going? Don't be sad, bud. Think how happy your best friend is going to be with his rightful family while you stay here alone listening to your laughter that will echo in the emptiness of your infinite loneliness. He's been drawing for three weeks. My friends, I have an idea that will cheer him up. Hey, hey bud. Bud. This is such a retarded idea. Shut up, gorgeous. Wow! Three new paper friends! Gorgeous, you've been in there for five hours. So is there a law against that? Gorgeous, come out of there right now. Uh, no. Okay, as the superior male around here, I was prepared for that. <laughs> Why 
Why don't you mind your own business? I'm only fulfilling my duties as leader and head of this household. Who put you in charge, Mr. Big Shot? Well, it all started with my promotion to Boy Scout pack leader. And from there, I was president of the debate club. Well, I'm the president of the Bongo Beach Babes fan club. I am the leader of the local chapter of the Vintage Vacuum Cleaner Association. You see, Gorgeous, every one of us are leaders in our own ways. I'm not a leader of anything. You're not? Oh, my. <laughs> 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 uh, well, actually, I've been the leader of, 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 of something. Uh, yeah, I, I was the head of that club you, you don't know about. Stop laughing! I'm a big loser. I'm not the boss of anything. Hmm. Attention, maggot! Get down and give me ten. <laughs> Being the boss is not just something you just improvise. You gotta get the license first. But don't worry, because I just so happen to be a certified licensed dealer. For so one thing, let me warn you. Once you sign this contract, it is binding for life, and you can't break it. Uh, what's it gonna cost me? Well, actually, we operate on an indirect payment plan. It's all about sponsorship. Just sign the bottom line. Sponsors pay for me to become boss. Yeah, pop-up badge. Big money. Hey, what's that? I told you, pop-ups. Big money. Anyway, Mr. Boss, how does it feel, you and your new position in life, eh? Hey? So anyway, let me teach you how to make the official announcement of your promotion. Follow me. Let's learn the rules to boss etiquette. First of all, the broad smile executive handshake. Give me your best grip. <laughs> what was that? Hmm. You need some work. Here, let me show you something. First, make direct eye contact. Secondly, the big porcelain smile. Thirdly, the all-important grasp to establish who's the boss. Oh! You're gonna have to do some serious training, Mr. Gorgeous. I'm afraid that was not very good. Not good. What I recommend for you, the Smiley Face Handshake Trainer 3000. With the help of this cutting edge machine, you will be the boss in three to five days. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gorgeous. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Etno. That's no way to talk to the boss. The boss? Yes, I'm the boss now. You're my boss? That's right, I'm the boss. I own you, plebe. You do as I say. Yes, boss man. Yes, sir. That's right, I'm the boss man, sir. No! It's my spaceship and I will decide. That's not fair! I never get to drive! The one time he let you drive, you backed into a tree! End of conversation. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Okay, get in there. Show him who's the boss now. And don't forget to smile. All right, what's going on in here? Selfish Etno won't let me drive his spaceship. Well, as the new boss, I think I'll be doing the deciding on this matter. Boss? I don't see any boss here. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, who? Hello, hello gorgeous? gorgeous? No, hello, boss. Hello, hello boss. boss. There you go. That's better. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Boss. You graduated. <laughs> Oh, 
soldiers, the fridge doesn't close itself. And what is with this half-eaten chicken carcass? There's a trash bin right over there. Try using it. Yeah, well, the boss has decided that the fridge needs to wear out and should stay open from now on. Okay, boss. Hey, give me that. I was watching. <laughs> Negative to negative, and positive to positive. I'm expecting an explanation. Boss! What? I'm expecting an explanation. Boss! Always address me as boss. You got that? Yes, boss. As the boss, I don't need to explain myself. Ever. Understand? Now finish this spaceship, and I'll be glad to drive it. Ever since Gorgeous became boss around here, there isn't any more fresh zucchini in the fridge. Yeah, and he won't let me watch my shows anymore. Yeah, I don't know how much more my nose can take. Okay, everyone, here's the new house rules. Candy, you can wash and iron my underwear and sort and stack them by color. And from now on, you need to prepare 12 meals a day, exclusively anchovy pizzas. The TV will be tuned to the football channel at all times. And Etno, I've decided that I am now officially smarter than you. And I will answer all the show's fan mail. Uh... All right. <clears throat> All right, who? All right, boss. He's rather forceful. Dear Margie, thank you for sending the net ice email. Anyway, I'm glad you are doing so. I remember when I was in third grade. Okay, that's enough. I'm done. I'll just hit send. Only 35,847 emails left? Whew, it's tough being the boss. <laughs> 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 hey guys, uh, what's so funny? Come on, bud, break time's over. We have 17 more loads of laundry to wash and hang. I've got 23 acres left to mow. <laughs> Candy? Sir, yes, sir! Make me laugh. All right, I will make you laugh, sir. Hmm, what would make the boss laugh? Come on, Candy. You know what kind of jokes I like. I like the same kind that uh, Bud likes. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're the boss. Uh, you're too serious, smart, and sophisticated for silly Bud-type jokes. Uh, I don't know any Shakespeare-type humor. Hey, Bud. You want to play hide-and-seek? If that's what you would like, boss. I'm asking you if you want to play. I would like to play, boss. Stop calling me boss! Sir, yes, sir! 25 years of intensive scientific research and development has finally paid off. We're going home. Wow! I like the paint job. I'm glad you like it, boss. You know, you can drop the boss thing today. Sure, whatever you want, boss. Am I still the boss if I do this? Boss, don't break it! Negative, you can't renegotiate. But it's a complete disaster. Nice think it being the boss. I can't take it any longer. I'm losing all my friends. I don't care. A deal is a deal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got work to do. Here's your contract. Yes, it was quite amazing. Yeah. 
All I had to do was snap my fingers, and you obeyed my every command. Oh, I can't believe you made me wash your underwear. Ah, oh, come on. They weren't that dirty. From now on, we'll all work together. We don't need a leader. Yes, boss. <laughs> Hey, Candy, you should check out this great show. Not right now, Gorgeous. I'm having a wonderful time finishing my vacuuming. Excuse me, is this the boss license place? Yeah, but you'll have to wait at the back of the line. Make note of the new policy. Payment up front. You can write a check while you're waiting. 